I'm so. Sarah, and this is Weston. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sarah, and this is Weston, and we are Chrysalis Studios. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Oh, the first time was so genuine. It always is so genuine. Just like this YouTube channel. Welcome to Chrysalis Studios. <laughs> you sound so passive aggressive. <laughs> I was trying to. I gotta get it out or it's gonna be in my speech the whole time. All right. I'm Sarah. I'm Weston. And this is our Chrysalis Studios YouTube channel. Yep. This is the... Uh, I would say it's the inaugural video of our new series. So we bought a van. Um, and now we're in it in <laughs> Colorado. Wow. Would you like to see the steps it took to get there? <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. We'd love to hear your feedback. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, our... Van is a 2017 Dodge Pro Master that we found used. Um, it was a window hauler, windshield hauler. Yep. So, um, there was big racks in it that, um, when we bought it, they had to unscrew it, so there was a lot of holes in the floor. Um, the van had a little bit of cosmetic damage, but nothing that we were too concerned about. Um, nope. but that made it a pretty affordable price that, uh, us as previously broke servers were able to go down on a big van like this. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. We spent, we spent one month from July to August just, like, going in. We spent one month from July to August renovating it and putting everything in um, you know, like just going in <laughs> <laughs> it's I, like, like, I just said that uh -oh. i said it twice i can't yeah, say we it going <laughs> in a van to colorado that's where we're filming this from yep we've been here a month yeah one month yeah it's been it's been pretty crazy the topic of the video is cleaning and prep it's really exciting but it's the first step we had to do mm -hmm. in getting our van she was a little dirty when we got yeah, her she's a little dirty she was used to haul windshields so it was like that. a glass moving truck i know i was just gonna go back through it okay <laughs> go ahead all right never mind uh yeah so there's some i believe it was in an accident before we first got it so the dealership got it at auction, fixed it up. It was just really just cosmetic damage and it's missing a side piece that we're gonna, you know, just roll with. It's nice. It looks well loved and now we're gonna put some more love in it, mm -hmm. but we got to clean it up. Yeah. <laughs> is ready so today is day one on van stuff I'm just cooking up some breakfast and we're gonna get to work cleaning this guy well, let's see I think Wesson's down there now he was too excited to wait for breakfast to be ready That's our house! Hi! 
Hi. Hi. I've come bearing breakfast. <laughs> We started out by just scrubbing the floors and because um, the first thing that we were going to do was actually put in the floors so we just needed those to be nice and clean. Yeah. Scrubbed it, got rid of rust, painted over spots that had a little bit of rust. Luckily there wasn't too much. Crawled under the van, checked down there too and everything seemed to be in pretty solid order for mm -hmm. the amount of miles and using it as a work truck. So. Next, we had to we had to do something about those holes in the floor. Uh, we used fiberglass mesh and Bondo, Bondo, which is like they use it on like body shops to because it hardens like very strong, similar texture to like thin metal almost. The, we, the tried to make, we tried to deck out our van and travel the country, but we it didn't past work. The, <laughs> <laughs> the video title is How Not to Build Your Van. <laughs> so does that just get really hard? And you can sand it away and shape it to whatever you need. So I've just filled the holes and sanded it down. And then we painted everything, which I guess we didn't really need to paint everything, but painting it covers any of the spots of rust, so better to be safe than sorry. Mm -hmm. And it just felt nice to get the whole interior and just looking nice and shiny, like it was a, a perfect blank slate to start from. Yeah. Just you wait, this is just the beginning. I'm gonna be outside all the time. I don't get to do this. Oh! <laughs> well, after a stressful time in Home Depot, we learned a lot. But we did find some floor options. We're gonna do vinyl flooring. We didn't we found some windows at Home Depot, but there was only one that was even remotely possible to be the right size, and even then I don't think it's gonna fit. We're probably going to need to order some windows online. Yeah, we can just, I mean, honestly, as long as the window's the right size, we can put any window in there. Because that smaller window looked like it was no more than $60, and if the RV windows are like $250 for two, um, it'd be nice to just have a normal house window with a screen. We're, we'd be able to just, as long as we can figure out where our lights are going to go and where we want our outlets and stuff, we can just get the cords on it, the cords put in, and just plug it into the battery when we do get the battery. So, yeah, I'm excited to see some progress happen and get this empty box looking more like home. Since the question that people are inevitably going to ask is how much did it cost to do everything, we'll just, well, we actually haven't added up the receipts No, that's what I was saying. We, in the future, we'll be putting, like, hopefully, like, price stamps and mm -hmm. either in the description or we could have went completely overboard, especially after being out here and seeing some of the vans. It's inspiration for the next van build. And... There's some sick rigs out here. Yep. But ours got a lot of love and character. We got cool furniture that we built ourselves, a cool sound system, lights, fan. Cat cove. Cat cove. <laughs> Big old water tank with the cool plumbing system that has worked pretty well thus far. And our electrical system is simpler than... Definitely simpler than it could have been, but still a little bit complicated, but it's been it's worked pretty awesome. It's really well. Yeah. It's been really sweet. We only had our battery die three times, and it was our fault every time. Yep. <laughs> like, forgot to plug the solar panels back into it. Watched anime for a long time. Yeah, watched a bunch of shows until, <laughs> until it died. 
Yeah, it's a growing list of things to do and things that you've done and accomplishments and also 10 new challenges. Yep. But we're going to go through all of them in the build series and then further on just in the what the heck we're doing out <laughs> here and what the cats are doing and how they're enjoying it and yeah just being in the world and being barefoot it's pretty nice it's kind of random Especially but rocks. yeah just like stepping out of the van on the rocks first thing it's it's interesting it's very grounding like sometimes it's nice to like step on the carpet but no, our feet are dirty most of the time, so I don't yeah. know if I'd want to step on carpet. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. It's a good kind of dirt. It's the dirt that made us, so mm -hmm. we're going to enjoy it to the most. The cats are definitely enjoying it to the most. <laughs> this one's passed out on the bed right here. Totally content with himself. Thank you all for checking out our first video. We're so excited to get the rest of the series uploaded. Um, you should see our second video, which is going to be about building the floors next week, this time. Yeah. What time, what day are we posting these videos? Uh, what day is today? What day do y'all want us to post these videos? We're going to yeah. post this one on whatever day we think, but if anybody <laughs> has a specific day, they like to watch a van build. Or just watch a YouTube. Watch a YouTube video. Let us know, because I feel like everybody has different opinions. It'd be cool just to see what, you know, what, when do people get on YouTube. Sweet. All right. Peace. Peace. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was so kawaii. Peace. <laughs> Blonde would love that. <laughs>